Welcome to C Sharp for Total Noobs on Developer Ramp Up. As you hear in all our videos, this channel is dedicated to anybody who wishes to become a software developer or a better software developer. Now we take this for seriously because C Sharp for Total Noobs is designed for anybody who wishes to become a software developer. This is not just a tutorial, it is a real training course with different parts. And during this training course, we will dive into all the basic C Sharp concepts so that at the end we will be able to develop a small console application by ourselves. But before we get really started, let's first discuss why we designed this course first. Because on the internet there are a lot of free courses and tutorials and you might want to follow one of them. And I have to admit that a lot of the trainers are really very experienced and they ha have also the ability to teach very well. Based on experience, however, I found out that most of the introductory courses that you find for free on YouTube or on other platforms are just a hook that they use in order to get you subscribed to other uh, trainings for which you would have to pay. Contrary, c -sharp for Total Noobs is totally free and will not leave information out just to make pay for a subscription. Secondly, I did not study computer science or any other related field. Most of the trainers out there are real techies and as such they fail to understand exactly where a lot of the newcomers to software development fail to grasp, grasp the necessary concepts. But I am a self-taught developer so I know the challenges that each one of you would face when you want to start to become a software developer. Because I myself had these challenges, I will then know probably better how to tackle them and how to make you understand some concepts that might be very difficult. The intended audience for this training is of course people who are passionate about technology and have never written a line of code before. This is really, this is really important, don't, don't get disheartened if you've never written a line of code. This course is really the place to start. This is where we will write our very first line of code, we will write our very first simple but in interesting applications, so don't get disheartened and just follow this training. As prerequisites, uh, there is no program, programming know-how required. But one very important thing is to have passion for technology and computers. Because passion is really what keeps you awake at nights and try to find solutions for some problems that you might have. Passion is what makes you to continuously want to learn more, to understand how things work and so on. And last but not least, we will all need Visual Studio 2017 as our IDE. That's basically the place where we will write our own code. Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition is a free software, so you don't have to pay anything for it. And you have almost all the important features that you would need to become a software developer. In this description for this video, you will find a link from where you can download Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. And when you install it, when you are asked to choose the components that you want to install, please make sure that you also choose .NET Core, because we will use a lot of .NET Core during this course. And now what will we will learn? Well, during C Sharp for Total Loops, we will dive deep into some very important topics uh, that I think are really the core concepts of C-sharp and if you understand all, all these concepts and are able to work on simple applications with them, I can almost guarantee you that you would be able to go towards more complex applications further. We will learn about data types, why are these data types important, we will learn about variables and constants. We'll also learn about operators, decision statements like if or switch and loops, because there is almost no real logical computer program out there that is developed without using any type of loop. Then we'll dig a little bit deeper into the internals of C Sharp and we'll look into classes and methods. And strictly related to this is also value types and reference types. And if you really manage to grasp this concept of value types and reference types, I can assure you that learning further C Sharp or developing real applications with C Sharp won't be a problem at all. 
We'll also work with collections or list of items or list of certain data types. And finally, we'll go towards the more abstract part and we'll learn about interfaces. We'll also learn about generics. And finally, we'll also dig a little bit into the object-oriented programming principles because they are really very, very important since C Sharp is a object-oriented programming language. However, before we go further, your commitment is also needed. Of course, you don't have to pay for this course and uh, therefore you might be tempted to drop some videos or to not watch them carefully and so on. And therefore, if you want to really start your way to become a software developer, there is a certain commitment needed also from your side. First of all, you have to be passionate. As mentioned earlier, passion is really what drives a developer forward, especially a self-taught developer that doesn't have, let's say, all the advantages of those developers who have studied computer science in college and so on. The next commitment, and this is really a very important one, write along. So when I'm writing code, just pause the video, write the code yourself. You need to get your hands dirty with code. This is how you learn the syntax. This is how you learn how to write the code itself. This is how to learn where to find problems error and uh, to know exactly where problems might be or where to find the bugs that might be in a certain program and so on. So writing code with your own hands is really very, very important. Related to this commitment, the final commitment from your side is practice, because practice makes a master. This means that besides following this video, besides pausing the video and writing the code yourself, you should drive forward, you should try to implement new things, you, sh you should try to write some more code, not only what we write here during this course, but try to find problems in real world that you want to solve with a C-sharp program. Of course, those problems might not need to be very difficult. You can take very simple problems like, for instance, create your own uh, pricing calculator and the related topics. But it, it is important that you really code also outside of this training. But if you do this and if you stick up to your commitments, to these three commitments, I can assure you that when finishing this course, you are on track to become a software developer. And indeed, what we would have to do afterwards is just following a certain path that you might be interested in. So once again, it's important that you stick to these commitments. That's all for now. In the next video, we'll talk more about .NET, what is actually .NET, what is C Sharp, and how does C Sharp relate to other programming language. So hope to see you to the, in, in the second video.